Have you ever tried installing Windows 11 on external SSD? Now this is one of the best ways to run Windows 11 on any PC or laptop as a portable operating system. You don't have to touch the main OS installed on your computer. Instead, you can install Windows 11 on external SSD connected via USB 3 or higher interface. Now in this video, I will show you step by step how to install Windows 11 on external SSD. Now with this method, you will create a fully portable Windows to go environment without affecting your main operating system. Now for this project, you will need external SSD with at least 120 GB of storage, a computer running Windows operating system. I will be using my HP Pavilion gaming laptop with Windows 11. On your Windows computer, open web browser and download the latest Windows 11 64-bit ISO file. Next, head over to the Rufus and download the latest version. Once downloaded, place both files somewhere for easy to access. Now for this project, I'm using 250GB external SSD connected via Type-C port that supports USB 3.2 Gen 2 interface. Now this high-speed interface ensures smooth performance, almost comparable to running Windows from NVMe drafts. Before we begin the installation, we need to format the SSD. This will erase all data and make the drive unallocated. Open command prompt as administrator and type disk part. To list all drives connected to your computer, drive 0 is the main internal drive and drive 1 is my external SSD. Select your drive by typing this command and replacing drive 1 with your drive number. Now make sure you have backed up your drive before proceeding. Next, type this command to clean the drive and remove all partitions. Finally, type this command to use the GPT partition scheme. It's time to create a portable Windows 11 installation. Open Rufus as administrator. Then under device, select your external SSD. Then under boot selection, choose the Windows 11 ISO file you have downloaded. Then change the image option to Windows to go. This ensures you get a persistent Windows installation that can run directly from the external SSD. Then for the partition scheme, select GPT. Target system should be UV. And leave other settings as default, then click on start. You will be asked to choose which edition of Windows 11 you want to install. I will select Windows 11 Professional. Then check the following options to prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disk and the option to bypass Microsoft account setup. You can leave it unchecked if you want to sign in with your Microsoft account. I also set the regional settings to match the current systems and disable privacy questions. Then click OK and let Rufus do its job. Now this process may take some time depending on your SSD and USB speed. So just sit back and relax. Once the bootable SSD is ready, it's a good idea to download drivers for your computer, especially Wi-Fi, graphics, and audio. Now go to your laptop or motherboard manufacturer's website, download the drivers, and copy them to a spare USB drive. I'm using 16GB pen drive with a folder named exe. Then I'm going to unplug the spare pen drive and use it later. Once it's done, turn off the PC and boot your system into BIOS settings using the keyboard shortcut based on your motherboard. Now mostly it could be F2, F9 or the escape key. 
In the UV BIOS, enable USB boot, then make sure to enable Secure Boot. In my case, Windows 11 worked even with Secure Boot disabled. Then change the boot order to make your external USB drive as the primary boot device. Once it's done, save the changes. Your computer will now boot into Windows 11 from the external SSD. On the first boot, select I don't have internet to create a local account or login with your Microsoft account if you prefer. Once on the desktop, plug in the USB pen drive with your drivers and install them to fix Wi-Fi, graphics, and sound. The performance of Windows 11 running from external SSD is next level on my computer. The thanks to the USB 3.2 interface and my Samsung SSD, the I.O. speeds are amazing. I almost felt the same performance as Windows 11 running from the internal NVMe SSD. Once you are done working with Windows 11 on the external SSD, simply shut down your PC, disconnect the drive, and power it back on. Your system will then boot into the operating system from the internal drive as usual. And that's pretty much it. This is how you properly install Windows 11 on external SSD. It's a great option for anyone who uses Linux as their main operating system or enjoys experimenting with different operating systems. Now give it a try and let me know your experience in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.